Are you using ChatGPT to finalize your email draft or using Midjourney to get more image ideas? Well, if you're doing all of that, that's a great start. But what if I told you that's not even 2% of what AI is capable of doing? Hello, Salam, Namaste. My name is Pramod Malu and as your course instructor, I'm going to make sure to complete your journey from 2% to as close as 100%. And I assure you, every second, every minute that you invest on this course is going to be worth it. Before we dive into how AI helps us in our everyday life and business, let's first understand the basics behind it. So chaliye. AI ko samajhne se pehle, let us get the basic concepts behind AI crystal clear. The two most important concepts, if you want to understand the story behind AI would be NLP and machine learning. So in simple words, in this era of AI, it is not humans which is continuously learning. Machines are continuously learning too. Just like humans, machines are learning from the past data which is fed into the system and is able to predict more accurate, more relevant information to the user in response. And this is exactly what precisely machine learning is all about. Some real life examples of machine learning could be Google Map, which is able to predict the traffic when you want to move from point A to point B. Netflix being able to recommend the next movie that you would want to watch on basis of the movies that you've already watched. And the classic and the most amazing example of usage of machine learning would be how Instagram algorithm works. Ever wondered why your friend who is a Salman fan gets to see more of Salman Khan reels vis-a-vis -vis you who are a Shah Rukh Khan fan only gets to see interviews, reels and more of content about Shah Rukh Khan? Well, thanks to machine learning, the Instagram algorithm is continuously keeping a watch on the kind of content that you're searching for and machine learning is able to predict the kind of content that you are going to search in future and accordingly is sharing the recommendations. Now, let us talk about the second most important concept behind AI, which is NLP, Natural Language Processing. NLP in simple language is the bridge between computers and humans. Or in other words, basically it understands and responds to human language. NLP is the technology behind most of the AI tools that we are using in our day-to-day -day lives. Tools that we interact with like voice assistants, chatbots, or tools like ChatGPT. NLP is basically the backbone on which AI models are made and AI models are the driving force for the AI tools. And when there is a lot of data that is being fed into these AI models, they are called LLMs, large language models. And these LLMs are the power machine behind all the tools that you use, including ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini, Grok, Perplexity, and more. So now I hope you understand the importance of NLP, which is basically the tool that enables these machines to talk to us like real people. Now that you've understood the basic concepts behind AI tools, which is machine learning and NLP, let me draw the quick difference between AI model an AI tool. Let me explain that with a simple example of a car. The most evident of a car is engine, right? AI model is basically the engine of the AI tool. And what is the AI tool in this example? The car in itself, the steering wheel, the gearbox, the dashboard, and so many other things to make your experience complete in itself. That is exactly what the AI tool is all about in this example. Now let me put all of this together in the analogy of a car. AI tool is the car you drive. AI model is the engine in that car. Machine learning is the process by which this engine is working. And NLP is basically the parts of the car like steering wheel, brake, dashboard with which you interact and control the car. I hope all of this makes sense. I have tried to keep it far away from technical jargons and make it simple as possible. Well, no prizes for guessing. Most of the industries around us are using AI in some way or the other. Here's a quick look. Healthcare, finance, retail and e-commerce, marketing, manufacturing, education, transport, agriculture, legal, entertainment. So if you are thinking your industry and your job is not impacted by AI yet, think again. In short, there is no industry that is left untouched. Where there is data, there is AI. AI is useful, 
AI is going to add to your productivity? We've been hearing it all around us. Sounds exciting, right? But not sure how to use them in the best possible way. Well, don't worry, you're not the only person who's stuck in that boat. Let me walk you through all the questions that you have in your mind. Let's imagine you're starting a business and you need help with every possible thing from research to branding, from marketing to automation, from lead generation to lead management. AI can actually help you with each of these functions and make your journey faster, smoother and more productive. So let's go step by step. So the first thing that you would basically do when you're starting up a business is thinking about the idea and then looking out to validate the same. You would go out, do a market research, try and understand the geography, the profile of your customers, whether the product is the right fit into your market or not, and what is the demand for the product in years to come. And on basis of that, basically you would take the next steps for your startup, right? And how much time would you spend doing the entire gamut of research that we just discussed a few weeks? Well, the good news here is Perplexity Claude Gemini can do the same for you in minutes. While researching, Perplexity and Gemini has an edge because of its up-to-date data with links and resource. And Claude on the other side has an edge in terms of giving you summary and clear insights about the same data. Now that you have got the validation on your idea, the next thing that you would do is work on your brand building, right? From deciding on the name for your brand to create a logo from creating the office stationery to creating a nice marketing brochure. ChatGPT will do all the content ideation from brand name to tagline and so on and so forth. And Canva is going to help you with all the design work. We are going to be discussing in greater details about how to give the right prompts to get the best results from ChatGPT, Canva and more. The job role of ChatGPT, Perplexity, Claude or Gemini is not just restricted to the creative side. It is also going to help you understand your customer persona, understand your TG, the geography and then on basis of that create a strategy for your marketing function. Copy AI is another AI tool that I would highly recommend for all your copywriting needs. As discussed earlier, Canva AI and Freepik are the most preferred tool for all your designing work and Google VO3 is the most preferred tool for all the video related work. Of course we are going to dive deeper in the forthcoming modules but I'm sure already you can assess how powerful these AI tools can be in your journey of starting a new business. Right now as we are in the introductory module of the course I'm not going to get into details about different AI tools that you are going to be using for creating the website for optimizing the same on Google search engine so more and more traffic comes to your website organically plus there are AI tools which is going to help you create an amazing cost effective paid campaign for your brand but hold on to your breath we will get into the details of all these AI tools in the forthcoming modules. I'd like to leave you with a positive thought before I wrap up the first module. You can love AI, you can hate AI but you can't ignore AI because AI is here to stay.